Hello friends, welcome once again in YouTube channel. I am Samin Sheikh, working as an assistant professor at KVN Night College Nasik. In the last lecture, we have focused on asymmetric synthesis, means the synthesis of optically active compound. How to synthesize the optically active compound? It is a very simple. In a reaction, anyone, either reactant, reagent, catalyst or solvent is optically active then formation of product will be optically active because the reaction takes place through diastereomeric transition state or diastereomeric phase we know that the diastereomers have different physical and chemical properties such a reaction is also called as enantio selective reaction it is expressed in terms of enantio Meric excess. In the last lecture, also focus on the formation of optically active compound by using optically active reagent. If prochiral carbonyl means the carbonyl attached to two different groups react with optically active means chiral reagent, then formation of a symmetric product. It can be done by using chiral reducing agent by using CBS reducing agent by using Baker is and pseudomonas potita. Now in this video I will focus on the formation of optically active compound by using optically active catalyst for asymmetric hydrogenation for suppress asymmetric dihydroxy reaction for suppress asymmetric epoxy reaction. The general reaction for this purpose is the alkene, sorry, metallic compound react with chiral ligand to form chiral catalyst. Then this chiral catalyst act on the prochiral alkene to form the diastereomeric complex and finally gives chiral product. Now the first reaction asymmetric hydrogenation means the formation of asymmetric compound by hydrogenation but the metallic compound are required for this purpose generally ruthenium compound favor for asymmetric hydrogenation only for allylic alcohol and alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid the other metallic compound is also useful for such a purpose that is asymmetric hydrogenation that is the rhodium compound it is useful for beta carbonyl group and the inner mine now chiral ligand is also required for such a purpose a large number of chiral ligand are available but focus only on favorable ligand that is a r binar and s binar such a ligand does not contain any types of chiral carbon but it is optically active because the carbon carbon single bond is cannot be easily rotated due to steric effect it is called as anthropizomerism phenomenon the third chiral ligand is also useful for such a purpose that is called as r r d i p a m p now the simple terminology are used to ascend the stereochemistry of the product. If by using R binap to use hydrogenation from front side, if by using S binap and other ligand to use hydrogenation from the back side, except in case of geminal di substituted alkene. At that time, reverse terminology can be used. Consider the following reaction when Zinanor react with hydrogen in place of S binap ruthenium. Catalyst by using above terminology by using S binap the hydrogenation takes place from the back side. The post chemistry of the product is really assigned. In the next reaction, the that is the alpha beta unsaturated acid react with hydrogen in place of R binap. In place of R binap, the hydrogenation takes place from the front side. The post chemistry of the product is really assigned with the help of this terminology. Now, in next reaction, the alkene react with hydrogen in absence of binap but in presence of rhodium 
Carol Cada Reese. At that time, hibernation takes place from the back side by using similar terminology. Now, in this reaction, the hydrogen is absent. The reactant is from the diastomeric complex with the catalyst and then assimilation is take place to form the optically active product. Then hydrogen is of such inner mine to use all the hydrogen. It is a disubstituted alkene, but it is geminal disubstituted alkene. Therefore, by using reverse terminology for S bin up, the hydrogen takes place from the front side. Therefore, the stoichiometry of the product is really assigned in this case. Now, the second reaction surplus a symmetric dihydroxy reaction. The alkene reacts with K or oxygen tetra oxide to form the syn diode but it is optically inactive because the formation takes place in the racemic mixture the, but how to obtain the optically active product it is very simple in this case by using optically active chiral ligand or catalyst this can be easily achieved Generally, in this reaction, by using potassium ferrocyanide, oxygen tetra oxide, alcohol and water as a solvent. In this reaction, also add the potassium carbonate and methane sulfonamide to increase the rate of reaction. For this purpose, the famous chiral ligand, alkali dihydroquinidine, and the the structure of this ligand are like this these two ligands are inensible to each other but drawback of this ligand it cannot be formed the easily compressed with metal therefore for this purpose by using the derivative of this ligand that is of dsqd far and dsq far now it is useful only for trans alkene that is e alkene the trans alkene and e alkene having two types of orientation the first orientation in which the larger group present at the bottom left hand side and another larger group present at the top right hand side this orientation is favorable because the reagent approach from the less steric hinder like this way but this orientation is unfavorable because due to last steric hindrance therefore from this how to reaction is take place in presence of dsqd catalyst the approach from the front side and in presence of dsq ligand in the catalyst this is approach from the back side the use terminology in presence of dsqd the reaction takes place from front side and in presence of dsq the reaction takes place from the back side let us discuss the some example in this reaction alkene is a trans alkene and it can be orient it can be in the variable orientation the ligand is dsqd Therefore, by using terminology, the hydroxyl takes place from the front side in the product. Now, in the next reaction, that is called trans reactant is trans -tilbin. Now, in this case, the ligand is DSQ. At that time, the reaction takes place from the back side. Therefore, is it assigned the stoichiometry of the waste group? Now, in next reaction in which the dsqd is used therefore reason approach from the front side friends the third reaction suppress asymmetric epoxidation this reaction will be discussed in the next video thank you so much take care